If you've been watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15, you already know that there has already been plenty of ups and downs. But if you're a real binge watcher, and if you're anything like me, you've already been counting down to the episode where we finally get to see this epic RHOA OG link up that Bravo teased months ago when they first dropped the trailer. And now, after watching it, y'all, honestly, at best, it was mid. <laughs> it's Justin Diego back with another binge worthy video. And today, we really gotta talk about this extremely awkward and shady moment from The Real Housewives of Atlanta, season 15, episode nine, that really got me thinking that Kim Zolciak might think she's slick because girl, we can see that you really trying to work up a master plan to get your behind back on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, so y'all already know that Bravo decided to try and give us some really nostalgic Atlanta Housewives vibes with The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15, episode nine, when they brought back most of the OGs for this lingo. We will always be connected, we'll always, be connected. always be connected. And actually, and even when I was hating you, I love you. And it was really cute seeing Sheree Whitfield flexing with Deshaun Snow and Lisa Wu. And it was too bad we couldn't get any leaks there, but I'm just gonna believe that somebody left that little empty chair there to pay their respects and acknowledge Nene Leaks in a cute little cinematic way. But wow, what a moment. I will never forget. Oh yeah, and I guess Kim Zosiak, um, they let her in because they saw her outside waiting for her little Uber pool or something. <laughs> so, uh, so, uh, the girls were catching up, and I felt like Lisa Wu was really doing the most to try to make a moment out of her past beef with Kim that we really don't even care about. And then Kim Zosiak just kept bringing up all of this different stuff to try to make us see her as relevant to this scene. Ugh, this bitch. <laughs> and before I knew it, I was just sitting there thinking, like, damn. Where is this bitch's Uber? Because she's just ruining the scene. Really? That bitch is still alive. That bitch, is, oh my gosh. Like, you don't, don't, you don't touch the kids. Yeah, I thought her trying to start a beef with Kenya Moore, who wasn't even there to defend herself, was extremely thirsty. But y'all already know, Kim, she out of work. I know it's tough, but enough is enough. Do not come. Do not come. <laughs> Y'all already know that after the episode aired, Kenya Moore definitely had to hop on Twitter and get Kim Zolciak all the way together tweeting. One thing Kim is gonna do is lie through her plastic teeth. <laughs> y'all, I am hollering, but what really has me screaming is all of these tweets about Kim that Kenya has been liking and retweeting like this one. Talking about Kim needs to go. The divorce publicity stunt clearly didn't work and keep Kenya's name out your mouth, exclamation point. And this shady tweet saying, Kenya is not remotely thinking about Kim and that foreclosed wig at all. Kenya still has her press after that dragging she got at the season 10 reunion from her. <laughs> and y'all, I really had to close Twitter and hop on threads where it's not as ghetto yet. Because y'all, why the fuck did Kenya retweet this petty video from her fan named Schoolboy? Talking about Kim Zosiak for a broke bitch. You talk a lot of shit. You gonna sit up here and talk about, oh, Kenya, that bitch is still alive? At least Kenya ain't out here on foreclosure fighting with her husband online so that she can try to get a damn check from uh, uh, Bravo. At least her still coming in. Several checks, okay? She was just in, in Paris for fashion week. Where were you? <laughs> Smoking a fresh pack of Marlboro Reds. Trying to figure out how you gonna get back on TV because your punk ass is in debt. Kim Zosiak, you have a lot of fucking nerve coming in this scene acting like you all that in a bag of chips, bitch. We don't even want you on scene right now. 
We mad you even here. And this was just the beginning of the fallout. Atlanta Housewives fans had me screaming, completely dragging Kim for days, siding with Kenya Moore talking about, listen, if you go low first, Kenya is going where that Titanic submarine went. <laughs> oh wait, that's, that's not funny. Rest in peace to the Ocean Gate billionaires. Clap if you find it offensive, clap. <laughs> and another fan was throwing their little shade, responding, Kim thought she was high and mighty with her little spinoff, dot, dot, dot. She really thought she was better than the housewives. Now look at her. Karma is definitely coming to pluck her. Before this one fan chimed in responding, get over it, Kim, exclamation point, exclamation point. By the way, Bravo, we do not need her back, exclamation point, exclamation point. Before a candy fan joined the chat with her face all balled up talking about, that's who y'all desperately want back, question mark? Kenya would eat her alive. Before my good sis made things very, very clear responding, Kim, it's simply not needed on The Real Housewives of Atlanta, exclamation point. But at the same time, though, some Kenya Moore fans are kind of here for the mess because let's just be honest. I hate that it took Kim to do this, but it feels so good to finally see our queen wake up, clock in, and get somebody to go. You are absolutely right. Yeah, Team Toro had time responding. Read her, Kenya! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point. Yeah, bring Kim back. This gonna be an epic next season, exclamation point. Kenya versus Kim, pure fire. <laughs> I'll be so damn dramatic reading these damn tweets. <laughs> and another fan responding, to be honest, this is the TV that we want to watch. Bring him back to ruffle some feathers a bit, LOL, with the crying laughing face emoji. Before another fan chimed in responding. Although I don't like Kim's comment because Kim look closer to dead than Kenya do. I feel like Kenya needed somebody to bring her back to life with these reads because the girls on the show with her now just aren't doing it for her. Sign Kim up for next season. Thanks. Maybe that'll help her tackle just one of those bills. But I'm I. <laughs> so I have to ask, do y'all think that Kim Zosiak should return to the Real Housewives of Atlanta next season? You just really trying to help get this broke bitch a check and it's not working. The devil is a lie and I rebuke it right now. Kim Zosiak will not be on my screen next year. Cause you know what? If y'all do that shit on Bravo, y'all kiss my ass. I'm done. I do not want them to come here because that's all they care about is making my life hell. Personally, I am still not really over what happened the last time that Kim was on the show, but I do agree that Kenya Moore really does need a worthy opponent to tussle with outside of the whole Marlo situation in this group because when it comes to the whole Marlo versus Kim beef, we're honestly bored and Kenya's bored and it's just so dumb at this point. So yeah, I can see Kenya and Kim having a cute little love-hate relationship play out on the next season, but Kim is so problematic. I don't know, y'all. I don't think that's a good enough reason at the end of the day to bring her back. It just feels like that would be too much of a privilege. Oof, before we get ahead, go ahead and log off. Go ahead and log off for us. I am sorry. Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. Do you think that this Kim and Kenya Moore drama is being stirred up just because Andy and them need to have a reason to bring him back to the Atlanta Housewives after scrapping Don't Be Tartar Sauce? Or do you think that it makes <laughs> Or do you think that it's all making sense? Also, let me know if you guys are satisfied with this OG link up or if you felt like something was missing. <coughs> Girl. Thanks so much for watching this video all the way to the end. I really hate that they had this OG moment without the OG 
But at the same time, I'm just glad that we finally got to see Jashan Snow back and looking absolutely fabulous. Yeah, not too much on Deshaun Snow either because I've been reading y'all shady comments. <laughs> if you're saying that you're real and only mean things come out of your mouth when you're being real, then maybe you're not real. Maybe the only thing that you are is a real bully. <laughs> Anyways, thanks again for watching this video. I will see y'all shady OG Atlanta Housewives fans on the next one. And there will be a next one. I know I haven't been clocking in, but you know, things be happening. <laughs> you can try to save yourself, but you want to go play yourself. You can try to save yourself, but you want to go play yourself. You can try to save yourself, but you want to go play yourself. You can try to save yourself, but you want to go play yourself. Yeah, you gon' need a hundred man, hundred scopes, hundred cans just for you to watch what I'm doing under the sun again. God giving gift, them seeds doing the running man. If you want me to get it poppin', may cost a hundred pence. Yeah, what I supply is always in the man.